Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. And I'm here in the Appalachian Mountains in early October. And the purpose of today's episode is I wanted to show you another fungus I found. I've done several episodes on fungi here in these mountains. And the Appalachian Mountains are home to over 2,300 different species of fungi that come in every form, variety, and functional feeding groups. Today's mushroom I want to show you is called the cauliflower mushroom. And you'll see why it's called the cauliflower mushroom, because that's really what it looks like. I'm not a uh, experienced forager myself. I'm more fascinated just by seeing and looking at these things. This is a prized edible fungus. It's not very common. So I was really excited to find it and be able to show it to you today. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. And here's to make this invasive. It's exotic. Dogwoods are flowering. And I just took a couple swipes terrestrial environment. Uh, produce seed pollen. And it's so I actually found this fungus this morning on the, my morning walk. And so I'm gonna bring you back down to it here. And I think it's just around the corner here in this little spot of sunshine. And there it is, cauliflower mushroom. Isn't that fantastic? What an amazing specimen. This one is actually about the size of my brain. It is also called brain coral just for that reason. So it kind of looks like a cauliflower, but it really looks like a mass of inch wide egg noodles, us all wrapped up in a ball. While this one is relatively small, they can be found worldwide and sometimes will reach 10 to 50 pounds. This is the only one I saw on my four or five mile walk this morning. So they're really not all that common. This particular species is parasitic and saprobic. Its scientific name is Sporacis crispa. And there are several species of this particular mushroom growing in this area. But I understand that it's a prized edible by mushroom foragers. I myself am not really a mushroom forager. I'm really an appreciator of nature and beautiful intriguing things and the mushrooms have always intrigued me and i find this one particularly intriguing remember if you're mushroom hunting you want to forage you want to learn to eat them be sure you go with an experienced mycologist or forager that really knows the species and when you're identifying use multiple multiple resources including books internet resources and the best is to use people because there's many many deadly fungal species what I've heard that has a very nice texture. It's often used in soups and broths because it kind of holds its texture together. But one of the tough things to do is to clean it. So with all these different grooves and openings and hollows, this will collect not only uh, physical debris and things that drop out of trees and dirt, but it'll also millipedes, centipedes, isopods, and even earwigs. So the foragers will cut this up and rinse it under a lot of water in the sink and try to rinse everything out of those grooves and crannies. For me, I don't want to touch it because this one seems relatively rare. I think this is the first time I've seen it. I haven't seen any others here in the woods and so I want to leave it be. Being parasitic and saprophytic, it's parasiting the roots of this tree and getting nutrition directly from the plant, but it's also decomposing some of the dying and decomposing roots of the tree as well. So it's both parasitic and saprophytic. So I hope you enjoyed watching this episode of Nature at Your Door. Like I said, I just had to show you this because it's such an unusual mushroom. It's not very common. I've seen very, very few of these. This probably is the first one I might have ever seen or at least been able to recognize and identify as the cauliflower mushroom. I hope you'll check out my other videos on a variety of mushrooms, including cinnabar, 
chicken of the woods, jack-o'-lantern mushrooms, oyster mushrooms, and others. Remember, if you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. I produce a new video every Friday based on things that I find, well, I'm really not far from my door today, and things that I come across or people call me up and ask me questions about. That's how I make my episodes. But thanks for watching. Nature at your door.